Hello YouTube, welcome to the all new kitchen set. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I just couldn't be arsed to uh, log all this stuff upstairs and uh, do the video there. So I figured, yeah, why not just uh, put it in the light and uh, showcase the board that I got. What you see here is, well, quite obviously, a dual socket board, which means this is either enthusiast grade or server grade or workstation grade, whatever you want to call it. Well, that would be correct. This is an ASUS PCDL Deluxe. This is a dual socket 604 board with uh, pretty much just consumer and enthusiast features, but no real server features like SCSI support or PCI X 64 bit slots. But uh, what it does have is quite a nice array of expandability and some really cool little options that were quite unique for the time. One really unique, unique aspect of this board is, of course, the CPU coolers. Because as you can tell right there, these are pretty much pure copper. These fans were ghetto rigged because these copper blocks are actually uh, two use server uh, coolers that were intended for passive use. So pretty much you would have these in a two use server case, you would have fans on this side, just blowing the heat out of there, out of the back of the case. But that does not quite happen in a regular PC tower, so the previous owner just rigged these fans up on there. and. Uh, I can tell these fans are in good shape. They spin very well. So that should be uh, pretty cool. So in terms of ports on the back, we have two uh, PS2 ports, two serial ports, parallel port. This is a Firewire. There we go. Got four USB 2.0 gigabit Ethernet and uh, another hint is that this is just a regular, or well, not really regular, but a workstation or consumer class or enthusiast class board, it has onboard audio. On a server, you would not find it, find that feature. So yeah, in terms of shape, this board appears to be in pretty good condition. No bulging caps whatsoever, they're all in great shape. The voltage regulator is right here underneath this heatsink. And the chipset is of course located under this heatsink over here. This board features four DDR DIMM slots supporting ECC but not ECC registered memory up to 4 gigabytes so 4 modules of 1 gig so that's not really a lot of memory but you got to keep in mind this is just a 32-bit system because the CPUs that are under these coolers are just uh, Intel socket 604 Prestonia Xeon chips which are clocked at 2.8 gigahertz and feature hyper threading in this case so this is a pretty late revision of these CPUs around this thing because uh, 2003 was about, uh, you know, when this socket was on its last legs, soon to be replaced just about three year, two or three years later, a socket 771, the server grade uh, opponent of socket 775. This was the server grade uh, equivalent of socket 478. So that puts that into perspective. So what else does the board offer? Well, they've got an AGP edX slot right here. Got five regular PCI 32-bit 33 megahertz slots. It has a promised rate controller on board, which sports two SATA connectors of the four are in total, and one ATA133, which is probably this port over here. And I'm guessing that these ports are just all run by the onboard controller of the 875P chipset. That is once again located under this black ASUS heatsink. So yeah, we've got floppy support because you need that to install Windows XP or Windows Server 2003 on a uh, on a SATA drive or if you're just using the RAID controller in general to connect any drives whatsoever and uh, yeah all this stuff is all the other stuff is pretty standard so we've got a game port con connector here got a fan connector here got another fan connector there by the way and another one up there so we've got plenty of fan expandability we've got two USB 2.0 headers this is a IEEE 3094 or Firewire header, the front panel header, and everything else is pretty much, uh, your guess is as good as mine. So yeah, I'm not quite sure if the uh, clock battery is still good, but I probably have to replace that. I should uh, have a couple of those in stock, I think. Unless uh, a person in this house has once again tossed them, because that has happened before. So uh, yeah, this is pretty much a 478 server board, well it's 6604, but with the SATA ATA133 dual channel DDR, 
So yeah, the real benefit of using this board over regular Pentium 4 system is of course you have two physical CPUs, two physical CPU cores, and once again hyperthreading. So effectively you have double everything that a Pentium 4 has to offer. And these things are, well, they're pretty fast, I guess. <clears throat> this board was pretty much uh, sent to me just for shipping costs, so I figured why the hell not, and I'll just build a little server system out of it. Also order a different PSU that will be uh, discussed in another video, but that's nothing special either. But uh, yeah, it also came with the IO shield, which is usually missing when I order motherboards. And this uh, ASUS branded video card. It's an FX5200 from what I can gather. Whereas ASUS calls it the Magic V9520 128 meg FX5200. More than adequate for a server system. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with this uh, on the software side of things. I'm thinking Server 2003 R2 or Server 2008 32-bit. That's what I'm guessing. Can't go any newer than that because Server 2008, so not the R2 revision, is the last uh, Windows server that still runs on 32-bit hardware. And of course, these CPUs are not 64-bit capable, so that's uh, where the story ends for this board. I'm going to be running a consumer version of Windows on it, because that's not what I intend to use this for. Well, what am I going to use it for? I'm not quite sure, actually. <laughs> this is just for fun, I guess, and I will find a a perfectly uh, suitable job for it at some point. So yeah, we've got uh, all the spare parts laying around. This thing is pretty much ready for a build. But uh, once that build is actually finished, I will do a follow-up on that. But for now, I'm just going to do the recording for the power supply and get everything over with and end the video of this particular board right here. So this was my showcase of the ASUS PCDL Deluxe Dual Socket 604 motherboard. Hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you all for watching.